Six months after our biggest case that we've ever had, mm -hmm. we are now moving on to the Red Lipstick Murder. Ooh, I, I kind of know about this one, because this was the talk of the town when L.A. Noir came out. What was it? Yeah, I remember this... people talking <laughs> about the Red Lipstick Murder. This is just one of the murders we're going to be facing in our new assignment on Homicide. And it took us six months to get here? Well, well there's a reason for that, but for now, oh, okay. there's a man... Oh, taking a oh, oh, come on, dude. What are you gonna do with the poor lady? Jack oh, the Ripper. Come on, oh, gee, oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on now. Good God. A body has been discovered. Yes, it has. So for these six months, uh, we haven't actually been promoted to homicide. We were actually in burglary. What? Yeah. The department has arranged oh. we drink at the Galway Arms. But a guy, uh, a uh, seat has opened up in the homicide desk because one of the larger, I guess one of the best Boys detectives the retired. The chief is going to promote us from burglary to homicide. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So now we're the young upstart the rookie cop Reed's who's just son. jumping through the ranks Galloway, and now we're going to be hanging out with this partner who still kind of misses uh, his old partner so he's going to be the old Your dog he's going to be chopping our you know busting our chops every chance he gets oh good the first case is a murderer it could possibly be the serial killer that's running around <sighs> LA right now called the werewolf Oh, serial killer! We're not sure yet. We haven't been to the crime scene yet, so okay. let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. All right, take him down. All right, so this is my new partner, and well, he's a bit of a he's um, <laughs> a bit of a hindrance. Move! Yeah, he likes to play around. He's um, come on. Yeah. Roy here is not very. <laughs> He, he does not like to cooperate with me at all. He misses his old partner. So he's going to give me crap every... He's going to give exactly. me grief every chance he gets. Exactly. That's how this thing works. All right, so now we got a Nash Super 600. Ooh. Brand new vehicle for a brand new... Well, transfer destruction, I suppose. Yeah, look at that disgusting paint job. Hmm. Oh! All right, I've been... I've been trying to do a little bit more stunt driving, just kind of, ooh. And hey, check it out. We just, uh, it's been a while, but we actually picked up a dispatch call. Oh, sweet. So now we're going to head right down there. Here we go! Look out, L.A. And before we get down to the murder scene, we might as well get down to whatever scene's going on here. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> It was a landmark. Angie's uh, flight of stairs, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the the flight of Poppin. Jesus. But if any cool people watching have ever been to L.A. or live in L.A. or live remotely close to L.A., what the heck is any of these landmarks? Yeah, and how'd they do recreating them from the 40s? Yeah, if there's anybody around living around in 1947 L.A. right now, uh, just, just uh, send a note. Is there anybody who's currently about 80-plus uh, years old watching this Let's Play of L.A. Noir? Is there, oh, RKO Theater, that I know about. RKO oh, okay. is top ship. So right now we're just picking up landmarks on our way to a uh, possible just, like, lady getting her purse stolen. Oh my ah! god! You knocked the monorail off its track! Fucking cable cars. God damn it. Monorail, anyway. Cable car. That's what, what I meant. What we have here is a jumper. Ooh, a suicide. Attempt. Or attempted. So help me God, I'm <laughs> uh, kind of weird if Cole had that reaction. Ooh, a suicide! <laughs> Yay! All right! <laughs> Let's pick up the remains, boys! <laughs> jump! 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 Oh, God, that's so bad. And he's immediately brought back down to burglary again. <laughs> now, I was just thinking we need to, we need to like, tackle him to make sure he doesn't jump, but, uh, careful, one wrong tackle, and he's going over the edge. Well, all I gotta do is just climb up this pipe. Oh, Rusty is his name. Rusty is our partner. Oh, okay. Roy is the dick back from Vice. Rusty is the dick back from Homicide. Oh. Oop. Oh, oh. Yeah, do a little pole tricks there, Phelps. Pole Phelps. 
Your hands must be completely destroyed after that. I keep them well lubricated with lotion. What are you trying to do? Oh, good. I remember my first jumper. Could have soaked them up with a sponge. Uh, huh. It's not making this easier. You ever seen salsa at Mexican restaurants? He kind of looked like that after he jumped. Jesus Christ. It was only out of a two-story window, though. Apparently he wasn't a very strong fella. I just... I'll come quietly. We call it chunky salsa. Ah! Please. <laughs> well, that's if he, if the jumper was fat. Oh, okay. There we go. You're you, under you, arrest. <laughs> you, you're under arrest, mild salsa. Uh, I wonder if there are any green people around here. We could arrest some picante salsa while we're out. <laughs> green people? It's like, where are them greenies, huh? <laughs> well, it is the 40s. Ah, oh, wrangle up them greenies, and... Uh, those are probably Irishmen, so... Yeah. The Jolly Green Giant jumped from a ten-story building! I need to run. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> well, that's another street crime in the bag. Oh, good. This one turned out pretty well, actually, so... Uh, all right. Can, can that really be considered a street crime, though? I mean, he... You, you didn't save his life, you ruined his death. Don't. Well, good enough. About to ruin everybody else's property, so. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, just think, after this, he could sue you and, you know, get all police officers, you know, going underground into government protection. So, uh, I might as well say, uh, to the people in the comments oh, who have been, uh, yeah. uh, criticizing my driving abilities, <gasps> saying, uh, no. just, uh, drive to the place, no need to Ooh, do crazy stuff. Nice. Um, I hear you. I hear you. I understand, but I don't care, okay? I'm sorry, but I just don't care. You getting criticisms about driving? You see, everything is all so prim and proper in the 1940s. Everything's got to, you know, just, just so, you know, keep yeah, LA yeah, safe uh -huh. drives. So. Yeah, no. I'm going to treat the streets of LA like a fucking destruction derby. You're going to sit well, here and watch, and we're going to have a great time in cinematic mode. Think of it this way. They gave you an amount of property destroyed at the end of a chapter. That's just begging players to just run off the road and destroy people. It's begging me to beat my high score. <laughs> what are you up to now? Like 15 grand? Oh, I, I, I don't know how. Total, I have no idea. <laughs> I wonder, can you reach the kill screen in L.A. Noir? Can you get a <laughs> score high on... Oh, your car's dead. Oh, well, breaking these cars is always kind of, you know... Lame, but what we do get to do is we get to get civilian cars, which lead to additional cars that we can unlock and, you know, all that. Wow, she actually, like, she basically rolled out the red carpet for you. It's like, here you go, copper! Take it! Oh. Alright, so, come on in the car. Rusty. Rusty. Come on in the car, Rusty. 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 Come on in the car. Hey. Honk at him. I am. Just, come on. Get in the car. <sighs> Get in the car. God, my old partner used to do this. And now he's gone. Just get... I'd never get in the passenger side on a civilian vehicle. I guess you... Well, fine then. How's this? The wheel. <laughs> yeah, Last he, day. He always there let me go. drive all the civilian vehicles. <laughs> oh, whatever. It'll get us there faster anyway, I suppose. Good, good. Hey... We got the dispatch call. We no longer need our car. Well, now it is time for our first murder scene. Dun, dun, dun. I, you know, and I, I do have to put a warning. Things will get pretty intense. So if you got, Ooh, if you got like a queasy kind of stomachs or whatever, or if you, if you feel uncomfortable around grisly crime scenes, I'm just going to have to ask you to turn away, skip ahead to this time or whatever when we leave the crime scene, and everything will be fine. Okay. For those of you still here, you sick, perverted bastards. What? Well, don't you put that title on yourself. I was talking to my own kin. Oh, okay. Anyway, so uh, the press is here. It's like, oh, the murder, eh? Murder, murder. Uh, Phil Cole Phelps is on the murder scene. Uh, all right. Yeah, oh, shoot. Are they guys. actually going to put photos of the crime scene in the paper? Well, probably not, but probably photos of people taking pictures of it. You know, th oh, okay. this, these <laughs> yeah. kinds of photos. And, uh... Oh, my God. Uh, eek. Huh. Oof. Eek. Ooh, we better get started. All right. Jesus. Well, 
Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. So Ooh. Working neighborhood. Lady got murdered at Makeout trouble. Creek. Hmm. Nothing like this. Hey, man, that's not cool. So locally as the Moors. <laughs> you were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No so that's our first responder. No one's disturbed no, the body. Everything's all good. This is a pristine crime scene that we have, which you can't always get. See what you come up with. So you go house to house, see if you can get any sort of uh, clues. I'm going to look around at the crime scene here. We got some uh, hmm. ooh, foot, foot prints. Print? He walked in cement somehow. Men? Oh, that's plaster so they can get up. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that is a men's size 8 shoe there. Gotcha. I mean, I don't even wear a size 8, so this must be a short motherfucker, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wear a size 11, holy fuck. And I'm, I'm short. You're only like 5-something. Oh, so, these puzzles. I'm like 5-7, bro. Oh, okay. I'm short, okay? Maybe not 5-7, but like 5. Good. Come on, Cole. A there single, you go. A single digit five foot, but yeah, okay, let's... Do I need to... Oh, I see. Is it the top one here? Oh. There we go. We <gasps> solved the murder! Oh! It's actually a lighter. The Bomba Club. What? Steal a table. Why would you need that much puzzle to open up a lighter? <laughs> it's, it's a table lighter. So, oh, okay. So while you're sitting there waiting for your food, you can go, oh, let me turn around and hey, hey, it's a lighter. You want to smoke, <laughs> darling? Like, hey. Like, hey, has anybody got a light? Yeah, let me solve this Rubik's Cube real quick. Yeah, you ever go to, like, Cracker Bear or whatever? They got, like, those uh, those <laughs> oh, triangles yeah. with the golf tees in them. You try to oh, jump around. Exactly. Like, can you leave one left? The pegs. Can't, can't solve it by the time your steak gets here, then you're fucking stupid. Look at her bag here. Mm. Looks like we got uh, a used shotgun shell. Oh, Looks lipstick. Oh, no, lipstick. Can't be the one used on the body. It looks new, so it probably wasn't the one to, to scrawl the shit on her body. Ugh, ugh. So we got that. Put back exactly where we found it. Now, we have to go to the body. Alright. That's this is, a this is, broken skull, good lord. This is pretty grisly, but remember, we need to be as respectful as possible. This is a very delicate situation. We need to be as serious as we can about this. Yeah, you're you're leading up to you completely defiling everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, can you turn her into a puppet at this point? Has she been gored that much? Oh, hey, here, I tell you, my head hurts. Oh, this wound on the finger. Something removed. A ring, most likely. Ow. All right. And technically, this is our second murder scene. That the is first, true. The first one was during the tutorial. Interesting. Interesting. I got fuck you. I got what's a BD. What's G? What what is BD? Uh, big dummy. Oh. Blood dragon. He sure showed. BD. Black Dahlia. Black Dahlia. Tex. Oh. Your guess is as good as mine. I guess the Black Dahlia is another grisly serial killer going on, you know, they would split the victim's mouths from ear to ear. Oh, yes. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. Well, now that our time at the crime scene is over, a woman was beaten to death savagely and was had uh, terrible things scrawled upon her body with lipstick, uh, let's go ahead to the bomba where we found this uh, weird table lighter. I'm just catching people up for people who skipped ahead here. That's fine, though. Mm -hmm. And you're stealing another officer's car. Cool. It's a Studebaker commander. A Studebaker? Okay, fine. I will drive... I will drive carefully, then. <sighs> Punch it, Chewie! I am punching it. I just have the handbrake on, too. <laughs> Why?! So I can drive carefully, so people will stop complaining right, about my driving. Good. All right, fine. I'm gonna check like Twitter or something. Oh, go faster. Oh, fine. Okay. Oh, there you go. Punch it, Joey. Ah! Sheesh, you people just. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm not getting out of okay, here. Yeah, that's a that's a deadly fence. You're not getting past that. Wonder if uh, there's more destructible environments in the remastered versions. That'd be cool. Like you could go anywhere, like, you smash through all these indestructible fences. You could have taken out that bus stop. I could have taken out that or, fucking sorry, bench. Mon monorail stop. And, and look, I'm completely boxed in. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah. I got. Oh, well, 
Can't go up, you know, anything more than a 20 degree slope. Can't, can't run over chain link fences. I can't go through bushes. I can't knock over benches. So I gotta take my anger out on something! Well, I mean, it's the 1940s, man. Uh, you! Destructible environments weren't invented until, like, the Saints Row era. Come on. Ooh, I'll take your car. I'm sorry, sir. Police officer. I need your car. I'm sorry, but I saw what you did to that other car, officer. I don't think you should be borrowing my car. Are you insured? Yeah? All right, now this door is stupid. It turns the other way, and so he That's has a terrible. harder time getting in. The That's so, terrible. So, two times, and Rusty's just like, well, I guess I just can't get in the car now. Well, you bugged his AI. I saw you moving. But now he just won't. He just stands there and just, well, I guess I'm done. Get in the fucking car. There you go. You gotta wait 10 million Excuse years me. for him to actually get in the car. All right. Off to adventure. All right, back at it. Heading to the Bomba Club. The Bamba I love Club. that you slightly nudge other cars as you're going through. It's like it's like you're going through a crowded school hallway with your elbows just out like a cross. If you can't <laughs> handle me at my full-on crash, you don't deserve me at my little nudge. Oh my god. Alright, so we're bringing memes into this. How we can, how can we incorporate steamed hams? Yes. <laughs> there, that's it. <laughs> that's all we need. Uh-oh. Having a little fun with the horn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nobody's pulling over. Uh, I'm waiting for you to go through a crowded intersection and just get blasted through the windshield. That doesn't happen. Damn it. Oh, because you're wearing your seatbelt? I don't even think seatbelts were invented at this point. Look, I don't even think they have keys for cars right now. <laughs> Calm down. Wait, what? How do they turn them on, then? I think they're... Some of them might have been crank-operated, perhaps. Oh, dear. They're all hybrids. We're just living in the past nowadays. Oof. Solar energy. Oh, listen, listen. Maybe I drive better if you shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! <laughs> well, maybe I would drive better if you guys just shut the fuck up. Keep, keep telling me to complain about my driving. That makes me self-conscious about my driving, so now I gotta take out my, uh, my anger and my anxiety out on other drivers. Don't you guys know when UDJ is told something, he does the exact opposite? Oh! I might do one case where I do it completely, you know, okay. I'm gonna I'm try... i thinking it's like, now, now it's in your head. You're not gonna be able to stay straight. I mean, you're, you're just you're just driving along, and somebody says, "Hey, good driving, Phelps!" And all of a sudden, Phelps goes, <laughs> just veers off to the right. Hey, we made it. My car's dead, but we made it to the Bomba Club. <laughs> Perfect timing. Ooh, it's a cocktail club. Nice. Air conditioning. Does everybody too. have a suit? Uh huh. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. Yes, yes. I'm still working here. You can start with your name. It's 3 p.m. I've been working here since 3 a.m. You're the bartender on nights? Ugh. I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven. Uh, he's a member of the bar association. <laughs> about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? So Celine Henry yes. was the name Do you know of the victim. I don't. In our little crime scene owner, here. I thought he stuff. filled in bars across the town. I guess she frequented this place the, the most, the and he happens Where's to work this place business? the most. You can't miss him. Do we got an asshole who likes to drink nice. from the reserves, you know? Fucking... Uh, yeah, right. Away, yeah. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. <laughs> three fingers of <laughs> rye? I have never heard that... That Oh, I'm, I might have to try that. I'm gonna. Some of my patrons. Next time I go to your bar, I'm gonna ask for three fingers of rye, and then exactly. I get I get three fingers of rye bread. It's, um, hmm. and then I just punch you in the face. Oh, oh. three fingers of oh, rye. That's got some kick. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night. So we know that the murder victim was indeed here last night. Was oh. lovely woman. So let's see. Suspect scene with victim. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. <laughs> she attracted attention? Certainly. A 
few gentlemen became very enamored with you know, I'm gonna laugh story. if this case turns out to be about a man named Henry Selene. In particular. <laughs> you say you liked Selene McCall? How much did you like her? You two cozy up when she was drunk? You're trying to lay this on me? <laughs> I hope you got more than just hot air to back that up, wise guy. I have more than hot air, I have humility. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sick. It's so good. You know no, he's, tell, he's no. telling the truth. This this guy is on the up and up. He it's might look like a shady guy because he sits in the back of a fancy bar mm -hmm. in a booth yes. like this. You know, only crime life. mafias and lonely if people it helps, do it, I so I, 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 I think he's pretty lonely, I think. Maybe he just likes the atmosphere. I mean, seats in the back? Awesome. I think it's like a, a conspiracy thing, too. You know, if you sit in the back, help, sit in the yeah. back of the bar, facing the door, you can see when the, when the fucking... You know, government people come in to do That's whatever. right. Yeah. So, Mrs. Henry appeared the ring was stolen off the victim. I wonder where, where it came from. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large mm. side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Flying her days? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. She's either a pilot or a stuntswoman, sheesh. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. But where did this red garnet ring come from? Ago. It came from him. He carried a torch mm -hmm. for Selene in those days. Mm hmm Yes, I always have. Mm hmm Her old man never mm -hmm. knew about her. So what do you know about her husband, though? You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Selene on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Sheesh. He put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Mm, you stumbled there. Shouldn't have done that. Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Cole, Stolia. settle down. <laughs> <laughs> down, boy. I'm going to kill you. Asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. And she picked mm. some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30. <gasps> Got no answer. So, oh. husband was fighting with her. Mm -hmm. Called uh, call the house later. None One of them pick thing. up. Would you have an address for Celine? Mm. So why don't we go to Celine's address? Oh, no. <laughs> Start asking questions there, huh? <laughs> All right, so do we have to deal with an angry husband? Well, we might. We just might. Maybe a grieving mm. husband. We, we don't know what kind of husband we're looking for. But that is next time on Let's Play L.A. Noir. Hey, what's the hurry? Come on, Rusty. We don't have time to, to stall. We gotta... Well, maybe I should uh, make a phone call first. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. What can I do for you, Detective? How can I help, Detective? Phelps badge 1247. <laughs> I need to uh, so you've done this a few times. Uh, I, I suppose so. I mean, even though we're on episode 12, I still can't remember what she says. So we're going to look for the car that took Selena away with the 2B899 or whatever. We're going to have the DMV look into that, and we'll get some messages, and that'll be good. And now it's time for next time on L.A. Noir. We'll be heading to her office and her, her apartment and see what's going on.